Yo yo, welcome everyone to a brand new video and today it's time for WR round 2 and as you can see these are the results from previous uh, race and also the standings so currently we are in P10 of this championship after the first round um, and now uh, we are on Silverstone uh, a track where there are usually a lot of battles as we completely missed the apex there <laughs> going into the penultimate corner uh, <coughs> sorry but um, that was our banker lap in Q1 and this is our second lap and as you, you could see there uh, there's a lot of time in the final sector and we are doing a purple middle sector here uh, with a 0.7 split and then we are already one tenth up so if we can get a good final two corners then this can be a very good lap um, and as you can see get the apex perfectly there and you can see the delta going up two and a half tens and across the line we go and that's p2 Ooh, nice job so yeah I, as you can see i was quite happy with that p4 in q1 uh to be honest didn't really expect that uh, as yeah, I wasn't really happy in practice with my quality pace, um, but at the end, P4, Q1, so uh, it looks promising for the next um, qualifyings. It's a full qualifying, of course, so Q2, Q3. Now again, getting the apex nicely. This is our first lap uh, in Q2, and across the line we go. It's a 124.68. And I wasn't really happy with it, but as you can see in the top left, we are still second for now. And we are uh, half a tenth up in our final lap. Going through stone, six gear, tricky corner. Um, and now clubs corner. And again, improvement uh, ar around one tenth up, so across the line is P1 for now with a 0.57 and to be honest, I wasn't even sure if that was safe or not um, but as my engineer Ty said it should be safe and you, as you can see P3 um, within three hundredths of P1 so uh, we're actually doing a good job so far in qualifying um, also uh, I don't know but anyway uh, this is Q3 and as you can see we are on a flying lap and these cars didn't expect me uh, to go this early for a lap probably so uh, they uh, were very creative with uh, moving out of the way but that lap didn't really matter anyway as that was our first lap in Q3 on a used set so it wouldn't be fast anyway um, this will be our only um, good lap basically on the fresh set of tires but in sector one we only improve with around 600 and that's not enough the first sector is um, as quick as we did in q2 and also uh, there in the left hand we missed the apex a little bit but on this exit we gain quite a bit of time currently one one and a half tens up um, heading into cops corner flat out back to seven gear uh, just to keep the refs high and now Mackets, Beckett, left hand and right hander back to 7th for the left and then back to 6th for the right hander. Uh, currently 2.5 tens up, it's a 0.5 split and that's I don't think going to be enough for a good qualifying here. Um, but then 6th gear through Stowe, now Club's corner, back to 3rd on the apex, taking it very nicely, 4th gear for the exit. And now we are four tens up and across the line we go it's a 0.45 nah, and we're currently p2 but a 4.5 is just not enough for uh, a good qualifying so we're only p6 um, and jake did a 0.25 so uh, very good lap for him uh, max we saw p2 and yarn p3 um, so yeah p6 is the starting grid for this race and uh, the yeah, let's get into it here we are then at the start of the British Grand Prix. We are uh, starting at P6. We're going to start on the hard tires. There are five red lights. And lights out and away we go. And it seems like our start is not really good. But it's alright. Cars behind have a worse start. 
Um, so now it's just trying to find a way to maybe make some moves ready early on in this race. And now Shinaka on the left side is trying to go around the outside, having the inside for the next uh, left hander. And he's actually getting alongside, so we need to use your ERS here to try and defend against him. He's hooking tires there, which uh, is not a deal. Tires, what a strategy. And now we're gonna try to keep it around the outside, but of course we'll have the inside for this next right hander. And we're gonna try and stay ahead of him. And we just give we gave him just enough room there on the exit. And he's still try trying to go for a move. We're gonna defend the inside. And now we make a little bit of contact again, um, but no big incident or whatever, so it's fine. And then Iker Bayana is right behind us, he's on the soft tires, so he will be a lot faster at the start of this race. And we're going to use here to try and defend uh, against him. And we are not going to fight the soft runners too hard, of course, because uh, they are on a different strategy. Uh, but still, you want to stay as far ahead as possible. Iker's going to go down the inside for this left hander. We're going to keep it around the outside and the inside for the next right hander. But then he makes You're contact here with our rear left. And that means we couldn't really turn in. And now we're losing time to the cars ahead. And now I was trying to let him go, but he uh, went a bit wide there. Also, Louis Welch now in the McLaren going, going around the outside on the soft tires. He will have more grip, of course, so uh, not a lot we can do here. And now cars behind are battling as well, so that's good for us. We get some breathing space. And now Istvan Puki right behind us on soft tires as well. It's already lap 8, but he's still going to try and go for a move. So we're going to defend the inside here, but he's still, still going to go for it. We're going to give him the room on the inside. And we're going to uh, have the answer for the next left-hander. And luckily we could keep our position uh, here. Try to get past Louis before the end of lap 11. But like Thijs said there, we're gonna try and get past Louis before lap 11 because that's when, when we expect the soft runners to pit. Um, so now lap 10 we're gonna uh, try and put some pressure on Louis and now this is an opportunity so we're gonna go down the inside there. We're getting just enough room from Louis who didn't make contact there. And now we're going to try and keep it around the outside. And this was actually very tight. But we may, we're making no contact and still side by side on this straight. And now he backs out of it. Uh, so that makes it a bit easier for us to um, go into the corner. Now you can see that was perfectly timed because Louis is going to go into the pits. And now Ikerbian is making a small mistake here. And we have a very good exit, but he's on the soft, so we expect him to pit this lap as well. So no need to fight him too hard now. And as you can see, he's going to go into the box. And we are going to follow Joseph Loke. And I think the only driver out now is Jarno on soft tires. And he's going to go into the pits yep. as well. So now we're just following the hard box of runners. And like Ty said there, box opposite majority ahead. So uh, two cars stayed out. Jake Benham is going to go in and we're going to follow him into the pits here. And uh, if we can stay with Jake, we are basically net P2. Or at least we're very likely to fight for a very good uh, race as Jake was leading the race. And now you can see there are two cars between me and Jake. So we need to get past those guys first as well. And that's Kian, who is my teammate as well for this race. Um, but we are straight away gonna go and uh, gonna go for a move here. You can see he's flashing as well, so uh, that was a good sign for us. And now we're gonna break late into this corner, but we got cold tires, so I went a bit too wide there, and uh, fortunately made contact there with Kian. Um, <coughs> and now Philip Preschnader is ahead of us. We are quite far away for now but his, he has two lap older tires we can break a lot later and now we're gonna go down the inside there and again making zero contact so so far it's going very well with uh, overtakes 3.6 seconds from Jake to do that as I said there's 3.6 seconds uh, from Jake to the group 
And of course we're gonna work together here to try and catch them. And now Tamas is using his ERS a little bit um, to try and close the gap. And I think we get another update from Thijs here. Got this three seconds to the train head. So now three seconds to the train. And you can see in the top left and behind me basically Dylan Warren is right behind us on soft tires. He boxed one or two laps later and he went on to the soft so uh, we gotta uh, watch out for him. And now he dived down the inside and we gave him just enough room. Uh, but on the exit he has uh, a better traction of course on his fresh tires. Uh, but so far we managed to stay ahead of him. Um, but I mean his tires are just a lot better so he's probably gonna go uh, for a move here and as you can see make a bit of contact he's pushing us almost off with just enough room there and then as this, on this exit he uh, gets more traction but now Ismail Fass is there as well and we're basically boxing him in here so he has nowhere to go um, and those soft runners will have very good tires for now but at the end of the race uh, the mediums will be quicker again so that's what I was hoping for and that was the strategy uh, so we are it's not too bad if we let them go uh, but I think at the moment there is a safety car and um, we decide to go into the pits and box for a fresh set of softs um, as they also expected rain at the very end of this race and if you are on fresh tires that just gives you a pretty big advantage over uh, used tires so uh, as you can see in the top left we are back in P13 and the safety car was uh, actually very bad for us, uh, very bad timing um, as we were on a strategy that would uh, uh, be very powerful at the end but we couldn't use that and as you can see we're <laughs> almost losing the car there and we take our first warning so it's not too bad uh, and now we're left 23, uh, we're currently in P13 but up ahead you can see a lot of cars battling and we're gonna gain a lot of positions i can tell you that you can see up ahead there's a massive crash there and we're up to p9 yes. but that's a vsc and uh, what is thomas doing as thomas tries to uh, sneak up one position but uh he had to get back again but yeah we went from p13 to p9 there so um yeah, we gained some quite some positions, yep. so we're back in the points at least. But it's lap 24 already. You can see the sky is very dark, and now it's raining as well. So our tires should have a bit more of an advantage now. And now Ico Bian is making a mistake. We're gonna go through Ghost Hamilton moment here uh, in Club's corner. We're gonna get past Iker, but also get past Daniel. So that was a really nice move there. And now up ahead, cars are still battling very hard. We're currently in lap 25, and you can see. Jake Benham on the medium struggling a bit uh, on his used tires in these wet weather conditions. Uh, and also Ismail Fassi again right ahead of us but he's on his used tire still. So we're gonna try and get past him. Jake still using his battery try to uh, stay side by side with us but this corner we just have more grip. You can also see Ismail sliding around. Uh, and we're gonna try to keep it around the outside there, having a better exit, but we can't do it uh, for now. And we're just gonna save our battery here uh, to make sure we can use it at the very end. But it's very hard to uh, to know how much grip there is in these corners. And now you can see we're gonna try and get past uh, Ishmael. He's blocking the switch back there, so we're gonna try and go around the outside there. But we're taking another warning, so we're in two warnings already, so we gotta be very careful now uh, with track limits. Because uh, we absolutely do not want to get a three seconds, because that will probably drop us out of the points here. As the field is pretty close together, but now we're gonna go down the inside in turn four. And Ismail gives us just enough room. And now we're gonna keep it full throttle, which was very scary at the moment. Because uh, I felt like the rear was almost sliding. Yeah, safe on the warnings. 
Yep. As Ty said there, stay safe on the warnings now. Uh, because we do have better tires than Ismail Fassi. Uh, but as you can see, he is still very close to us here. He's still a 3 tenths and there is still DRS. So that's what makes it pretty hard for us. We're going to defend the inside here. And now he does get a better exit here because of the, the line he took. And now he's at, er, at the outside. So we break in the, into the corner. Break it a bit too late here. We're going to try to cover the switchback. But Ismail can, can still find some room here. And he takes our position. So um, we lost yeah, one position there in the final corner. Through. And it was just very hard to... Uh, to see what the break point was in these wet conditions because there was no reference ahead of me and um, yeah Ismail uh, did it very well he got us in uh, the final corner and um, it says we are P5 but Jarno uh, got a penalty in the pit lane uh, for making contact with someone but that will probably uh, get removed so that means P6 for us um, but anyway it was uh, another good result so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you guys next time Ciao.